Hi and welcome back to Geeking Jadi. Uh, we were solving interview questions and these are good interview questions. These are the selected ones with most frequency in uh, funk uh, companies. That would be Facebook, nowadays Meta, should be Monk, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, maybe. Uh, so this might look a little bit strange, but they won't ask you super strange questions with different things. They just want to see how you have practiced, how you know your programming and everything. But there was one comment which I agree with. And the comment was saying that it's better to go chapter by chapter. First do all array and strings, then go to this one, then go to the two pointers, then to sliding window. So it would be easier to follow and learn. I will do this, but I will go through all easy ones in one section, then all easy ones in the next, all easy ones, we don't have any more easies, and then we will go for medium, maybe for hard. So remove elements. As always, the most important thing is reading the questions carefully, understanding the question carefully, thinking about edge cases. It says remove element. Given an integer array norms, okay, and an integer val, okay, remove all occurrences of val in norms in place. So we have to do it in place. I should not create a new norms read if this is equal, write it here. I have to change in this specific array. Okay, the order of the elements may be changed. Nice. Then return the number of elements in nums which are not equal to val. So my understanding is if I have 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 5 and my val is 1, I have to return back something like 2, 3, 5, maybe whatever here, maybe not, and return back 1, 2, 3. This is the point. But let's continue reading. Consider the number of elements in norms which are not equal to val to be k. So this is k. To get accepted, you need to do the following. Change the array norms such that the first k elements of norms contain the elements which are not equal to val. So I can have 1, 5 here with no problems. This is because it says do it in place. So in language in like C, this is more common. The remaining elements of nums are not important as well as the size of nums. Return k. Nice. So we have kind of the good understanding of the whole things. What can we do? If I was being interviewed here, I would say, okay, if you want, I can write the program in Python, which is always easy, but there is a catch. Python has one method which is called pop on a list element. So I can write a for very easy or while go through all the norms. If that one equals to val, which is one for example, do a, a norms pop zero. This will eliminate this. So I will go with a counter on every single of these. If the value is equal to val, I will do pop on that index. So I will pop index i and i goes 0, 1, 2. If not, I will add 1 to k. This is very quick for sure, the best performance, but it's very, very Python centric. Here I'm showing that I understand Python, but I'm not showing my abilities in solving an easy list questions. Another method which is more general is like this. My solution will be like this. Imagine I have something like this. My norms and my val is 1. You can keep two different pointers. One for index of reading and one for index of writing. You can just increase index of reading to the length of your norms and check every index one by one and read the value. If it is equal to the value, 
you just go to the next one and check the next one. So if it's equal to the value, just increase your uh, index of reading. Go here. This is equal. Okay, I will go here. Now this is not equal to the value. So I will write this in the index of writing. I will increase my index of writing. So I will write here later. I will increase my index of reading. So I will read this one later. And I will increase K to keep the number of non-val values I had here. This is very clean and beautiful, at least in my opinion. So you start from here. It's equal. So I'm, so my, uh, sorry. So my index of reading is here. This is equal. So my index of reading is here. This is not equal. So I will write this here. Will increase IW here. And I will keep my K to 1. Again, this is not equal. So I will write my tree here will increase my index of writing here and I will increase this. Then I will check this. This is equal. So I will just go to the next one. Here, my first k elements will be the non-equal to value ones and my k will show how many I had. Very, very straightforward. If I was being interviewed, I would say this. In Python, I can use pop and write a very quick thing. But if you prefer, I can write something more general, which works in all languages. Let's go for that. So, on Python 3, I will have my k equals 0, index of reading equals 0, index of writing equals 0. You know, in Python, you can say k equal i r equal i w is 0. Then I will go while. My index of reading is smaller than length of norms. Do this. If norms i r equals to value, what we should do? Practically, we should increase. But in the other case, we have to increase i r. So we say if it's not equal to value. First, I have to add to k. Then. I will write nums index of writing equals to nums, the one I'm seeing at the moment. I will increase index of writing by one. What is this? Sorry. Okay. And in all the cases, when this is checked, I will add one to index of reading. Then, at the end, I have to return K. Let's try. Accepted. We can submit it. Very straightforward, nice solution. This is not the best in speed because pop will be faster. But still acceptable. We beat 36% of constant contestants. Okay. If you want, you can write the same thing with the pop yourself and check it. You remember, noms pop i will remove the index i from the norm. So if you have one, one, two, three, you can go through, for example, same ir index of reading. If it's equal to val, pop that index. If not, add one to the k. Just go. Have fun.